As Trump clamps down on China, Chinese propaganda on Uyghur Muslims has entered full swing. In an attempt to change the narrative, China, through its global mouthpiece, the China Global Television Network or CGTN, has launched a documentary series that conveniently alters the reality of the atrocities the communist regime undertakes on millions of Uyghur Muslims. The propaganda machinery is trying to pass off atrocities on Muslims in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region as an anti-terrorism drive to flush out terror operatives. According to Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Chao Lijian, the documentary shows the necessity of anti-terrorism drives in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. While sidestepping the entire human rights debate, Chao Lijian said, the Xinjiang issue is not about human rights or religion, but about fighting against terrorism and separatism. And the documentary proves the necessity of anti-terrorism measures with specific cases and the enormous efforts made by the Chinese government. For those who don't know yet, China's brutal crackdown on the Uyghur Muslims is gut-wrenching. More than a million Uyghur Muslims are being kept in detention camps here. In September last year, lawyer Hamid Sabi, speaking at the UNHRC headquarters in Geneva, claimed that the Chinese government is harvesting and selling organs from persecuted ethnic and religious minorities, including the Uyghur Muslims, who are being persecuted at an accelerated pace. Since the 1990s, the Red Authoritarian Regime has repressed the Uyghur populace in the name of combating separatism, an excuse for attacking minorities. When China could no longer hide its deeds, Beijing claimed that the camps were instead vocational skill retraining centers, a truly fabricated statement as evidence points otherwise. In response to China's brazen persecution of Uyghurs in Xinjiang, the U.S. has brought in the Uyghur Human Rights Policy Act 2020. The bill signed by Trump paves the way for the American authorities to impose sanctions on Chinese Communist Party officials who are directly involved in the oppression of the Uyghur Muslims. Meanwhile, Trump has also threatened to cut off ties with China as Trump took to Twitter to say, it was not Ambassador Lighthizer's fault in that perhaps I didn't make myself clear, but the US certainly does maintain a policy option under various conditions of a complete decoupling from China. Thank you. Reeling under global pressure, Chinese state media CGTN has produced a documentary series on Uyghurs and is churning out lengthy editorial pieces to provide legitimacy to its videos. The US has already decided that these mouthpieces of China do not fit the bill of what can be termed as journalistic institutions. CGTN, Xinhua, China Radio, China Daily, Hantian Development USA, China Central Television, China News Service, People's Daily and The Global Times all have been designated as foreign diplomatic missions by the Trump administration. Even as the Trump administration keeps hitting out at China, the so-called members of the Muslim world have turned a blind eye to the Chinese Communist Party's unspeakable atrocities against Uyghur Muslims in the name of de-radicalization. CGTN can bring up a thousand videos to whitewash the Uyghur Muslim conundrum, but the facts are plain as day for everyone to see. China considers Islam as a mental disease and consequently it is going all out to cull their population, all while hiding behind the garb of fighting terrorism.